Chief Dennis Abuda, 63 years old, came to his hometown, Fuga, in the central local government area of Edo State from the United States of America during the 2020 Yule Tide. After the celebration, he then decided to return to the United States of America on 30th January 2021. The deceased and three others who traveled with a Toyota Siena car from Fuga to Lagos for his flights to America was attacked by some heavily armed suspected kidnappers. The said gunmen were said to have kidnapped Chief Dennis Abuda, Chief David Oriake, Mr. Richard Bologi, the Siena car driver, and Mrs. Comfort, and taking them into the forest. It was revealed that while they were being led into the thick forest, Chief Dennis Abuda got exhausted and could not continue the journey. His inability to continue the journey into the forest of the unknown got the sect snappers angry. They were said to have shot him dead on the spot and led others into the forest. They however opened a ransom negotiation to the tune of 50 million naira with the family members. But when the family members sought to speak with Chief Dennis Abuda, the suspected kidnappers forced the victims to say he was in another place. On Tuesday night, the other three victims were released after ransom while the whereabouts of Chief Abuda was unknown. The situation forced the Edo State Commissioner of Police, CP Philip Ogbadu, to lead a search party to the forest. The search team had the Ibubahi Area Commander, AC Adebawale Lawal, the Divisional Police Officer, Egba Police Division, CSP Ayola Ojo, and other top police crack teams. During the search, the kidnappers' hideouts were raided where some suspects were arrested. In the process, the body of the third Chief Dennis Abuda was recovered. Two of the victims, Chief David Ogeache and Mr. Richard Bologi, said they were descending a hill near Ahobini Bypass when the armed men intercepted their car and forced them into the bush. How many of you were in that uh, Siena? Four. Four, okay. Four. Including this men. brother now. Three men, yes. one woman. Okay. Yeah. So what you can happen after I come out of the motor? They were shooting after we just came down from the vehicle. Okay. We were shooting fire. They were just uh, firing. No, no, you can't find out your brother now. They were now calling for ransom. What happened there after? Because they were now always, he was found dead. They were always putting a gun on my head. Pop action that I should not tell my family that uh, my brother is dead. Yes. That if once anybody will make sure that the man is dead, that they will finish me immediately. So I have to oblige that uh, because it's, they must give you an authority before you say anything. Okay. Once they call you to come and speak with your family to discuss about ransom, they will tell you what to what to say. What to say. And if you say anything beyond that, then you will scare the gun. So how many days did you spend in the bush altogether? Uh, the kidnap was on Saturday afternoon at about uh, two to two, uh, one thirty to two, and they re uh, released us on Tuesday evening at about six, six o'clock. The Ikbobahil area commander, Edo State, AC Adebo Wale Lawal, said the police will continue to keep vigil on the Benin bypass as a way to keep criminals off the routes. It's better for these people to relocate. They just have to leave our area of responsibility. We have uh, five now. Five of the suspects. Five of the suspects, and then uh, they promise to take us to the hideout. So as soon as we are done here, yeah, we are going to continue to where we have stopped. So now that the body has been recovered, what next? Yes, we are going to arrange for ambulance to evacuate the body, and uh, probably release to the relations of the of the, of the deceased. The cooperation of members of the public, information they give to us, and the support of the government. As at press time. The remains of late Chief Dennis Abuda have been packaged in a body bag and sent to the mortuary for autopsy and other investigations. This is the footpath where the suspected kidnappers were said to have led their victims through into the forest. But According to all we gathered, Mr. Dennis Abuda could not continue the long journey into the deep forest, following which the suspected kidnappers were said to have shot him dead on the spot. 
for now, some suspects have been taken into custody by men of the Edo State Police Command. Well, because of this, thereafter, your guests are as good as mine. From the Bini Bypass, here in Bini City, Pestos, Alain Khe, EBS TV News.